What a nice song. Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh, do you know who I am? Oh, well, I'll give you a clue. I'm big and slow and very old. And I know almost everything about this lovely little town of Greenpatch. Hmm? You still can't guess? Well, then, I'll just have to tell you. I'm Old Man Wombat, nice and slow. You'd be surprised at what I know. Big and round and close to the ground. I must roll along, roll along. Wombat, wombo. Wombat, wombo. Wombat, I'm Old Man Wombat, dreaming my dream, wishing I were fishing in a lazy stream. Still in touch, but I don't say much. I must roll along, roll along, Wombat, Wombo, Wombat, Wombo, Wombat. I'm old man Wombat, nothing to do. One eye open. 
woman for you now All that kid, the things he did to a strong along, roll along, wombat, wombo, wombat, wombo, wombat, wombo, wombat, wombo. <laughs> yep, that's me, all right. Uh, you might be wondering who that kid is that I was referring to. Well, that's none other than that little larrikin, Blinky Bill. Here he comes now, with the rest of the gang. G'day, Blinky. Don't matter much if you are young in here. I see the world through children's eyes and hope I always will. Like that cheeky young koala, my best friend Blinky Bill. He's Blinky Bill, his whole life's a thrill. He does exactly what he wants, he's Blinky Bill. I've done nothing but complain About that loud called Blinky Bill ah, He's such a pain Just look at that expression Why it makes me feel quite ill You're a menace to society I'll catch you Blinky Bill I'm Blinky Bill My whole life's a thrill I do exactly what I want I'm Blinky Bill He's Blinky Bill He's whole life's a thrill He does exactly what he wants He's Blinky Yeah, that Blinky's quite a lad, all right. 
Oh, but he always means well. Although I'm not sure his teacher, poor Miss Magpie, would agree. There she is in the schoolroom. Let's listen at the window. Now, pay attention, children, to what I have to say. And no talking while I try to teach you something new today. It's really very simple. You'll get to know it quick. This subject we are going to learn is called arithmetic. It's as easy as can be. Just repeat it after me. One and one are two. One and one are two. Good luck, Miss Magpie. As you can tell, arithmetic is Blinky's most unfavourite subject. <laughs> Blinky might not be much of a student, but uh, sometimes he thinks he's a great teacher. In fact, he and some friends once tried to teach Mrs Spotty Frog's sons how to croak. <laughs> you know, how to say... Uh, when you're catching a fly, why do you cry? Gribbit, gribbit, yeah, gribbit. gribbit. A mosquito goes by, why do you cry? Gribbit, gribbit, gribbit. When your mum starts to sigh with a tear in her eye, you don't know what you should reply. Yeah, gribbit, 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 gribbit. Bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, bum, bum. Gribbit in the water, gribbit in the land, gribbit up a gum tree, gribbit in the sand. You can gribbit me and I'll gribbit you. Any old excuse will do on a beautiful day. What do you say? Gribbit, gribbit, yeah, gribbit. When you're dancing ballet, what do you say? Gribbit, gribbit, gribbit. When life is okay, singing anchors away, what do you say? Hip, hip, hooray, yeah, gribbit. Gribbit, gribbit, gribbit. Gribbit when you're happy, gribbit when you're glad, gribbit when you're angry, gribbit when you're sad. Gribbit. You can gribbit me and I'll gribbit you. Any old excuse will do on a beautiful day. What do you say? Gribbit, gribbit, yeah, gribbit. gribbit. When you dance in ballet, what do you say? Gribbit, gribbit. A koala trying to teach frogs how to croak. <laughs> oh, that Blinky is a one. Oh, I think it's just high spirits myself, but uh, not everyone agrees. Especially this next fellow. <laughs> You only have to see me to know that I'm the mayor. I made a statue of myself, it's in the village square. Pom, 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 hurry, I'm so full of dignity. Pom, 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 hurry. I am the mayor. My most important duty is what I can't ignore. It's watching people carefully so they don't break the law. Pom, 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 hurry, I'm so full of dignity. Pom, 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 hurrah! I am the mayor. But every time there's trouble, I know just who to blame. The bad koala over there, young Blinky is his name. Pom, 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 hurrah! I'm so full of dignity. Pom, 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 hurrah! I am the mayor. <laughs> Oh, there's a bird who's always in a flap. 
Usually because Blinky has ruffled his feathers. Ah, but here's someone who thinks Blinky's really rather nice. His special friend, Nutsy. Special friends. That's what life's all about, really, isn't it? Mm. A couple of characters at Green Patch who are very special friends are Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Oh boy, she's got lots of kids. Now, what are all those children's names again? Uh, I, uh, uh, Mrs. Rabbit, uh, can you help me remember? There's Willy, Millie, Tilly, Dan. That's Harry and Larry and Barry and Stan. Bonnie, Johnny, Ronnie, Lee, and that was quite enough for me. The Bobbins thought it sounded sweet. The Pitter Cat took tiny feet. Unfortunately, as they grow, those feet sound more like buffalo. Then Bobbin said, I have a dream. Let's start a rabbit football team. But first, to make my dream come true, we'll need another child or two. So here we go again. <gasps> Benny, Lenny, Jenny, Jill, that's Eddie and Teddy and Freddie and Bill. Those 
rabbits breed like humans, eh? <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes, I was telling you about my little mate, Blinky. You know, some people just don't understand him. I'll take that human, Miss Pym, for instance. Just because he once made a bit of a mess of her cafe, she's decided that all koalas are bad. Just listen to her carry on. That's very unusual for humans to hate koalas. Most humans think that snakes are the villains. Although uh, Celia Python wouldn't agree. and savoir faire. Snakes are so superior. We possess a certain flair. Snakes are so superior. We are sexy and we're sweet. Snakes are so superior. We don't even need a seat. Oh, why do we suffer so from persecution? Take but a moment to reflect We snakes are at the height of evolution And thus we should be treated with respect Snakes are so superior We will keep you on the run Snakes are so superior But we're only having fun We snakes are so superior such finesse and some warfare. Snakes are so superior. We possess a certain flair. Observe my supple spine. The movement is divine. No other creature on this earth is quite as serpentine. Snakes are so superior. Here we are, we will keep you on the run. Snakes are so superior, but we're only having fun. <laughs> Thanks, Celia. <laughs> well, the kids are out of school now, and I think I can hear them having a bit of a bush dance over at the old barn. Hey, let's go and have a look.
it's a lot more fun than school, eh, kids? Still, you know, school is very important. You learn lots of useful things at school. Oh, those young frogs will be at school soon, and then they'll start learning a thing or two. Yeah, they don't have much in their heads right now, though. Listen to the latest thing that they've discovered. Once we were wriggly tadpoles With fat little tummies and tails And Ma said we oughta remain underwater With crayfish and yabbies and snails We never enjoyed this arrangement For submarine life is a bore So when our legs sprouted We solemnly shouted This warning to you as we waited ashore don't try to sing underwater It's something you mustn't forget When you open wide water rushes inside And your larynx and tonsils get frightfully wet you never have music wherever you go When you're up to your rising age We tried it all over Australia and always experienced failure There's nothing down under That spoils a good song Like a mouthful of a bill um, Don't try to sing underwater There's something you mustn't forget When you open wide water rushes inside And your larynx and tonsils get rightfully wet You'll never have music Wherever you go when you're up to your eyes in H to O. Good advice, young fellows. Now, I was going to tell you a bit more about Blinky Bill, wasn't I? Yes. Well, one thing that stands out in my memory is the time that he was lost. Oh, yes. Poor little Blinky. He was very sad. He just wanted to get home. Home, home, I want to go home. I'm scared of the dark, and I'm all alone. Home, home, I want. Blinky was sad, all right. And I think he was pretty frightened, too. A lot of folks get scared in the bush at night, especially when they get to thinking about bunyips. Hey, listen, what's that sound? There's something out there moving around. Shh, quiet, can you hear? I think it's getting near. <laughs> hey, listen, what's that sound? There's something. Out there moving round, <laughs> look behind ya. Maybe not, I think it is a you-know-what. With razor claws and tripping jaws, yellow fangs and hunger pains, it's mountain shaking, earthquake making, you know what? So, 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 so on the menu tonight. Who's <laughs> on the menu tonight? <laughs> My tummy is a rumbling and it is not polite So who's 
on the menu tonight. <laughs> I'm very fond of animals and children I adore. But I love grown-ups most of all and I prefer the raw. On the menu tonight. <laughs> On the menu tonight <laughs> My tummy is the wrong bunny And it is not polite So who's on the menu tonight? <laughs> Ooh, those bunyips would give anyone a scare What Blinky usually does when he feels bad is He whistles I think I can hear him now Better run along, Blinky, or you'll be late for tea. Again. Oh, goodness me. Is that the time? It really is quite late. Uh, yeah, I'm sleepy. Uh, oh, yes, it's been a long day. So, good night, everyone. Push.